Hello everyone, Elk here. So in this video I wanted to show you guys something interesting. Just how fast you can actually get the Shield Reaver armor in Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, as you probably know if you played this game normally, that there's 5 power cells you need to collect during the Ancient Armor request in order to get access to the Shield Reaver armor. And all these power cells are located in places uh, where the main quest takes place. So that basically means that normally you have to go and complete uh, parts of the main quest in order to get all of them. And some of these are pretty fine to the game. Especially the last one you get access to is the one at Gaia Prime, which is basically towards the very end of the game. But what if I told you that you can access all of these power cells a lot earlier? That is what I want to show you here. Of course, you gotta be willing to do a few exploits to get access to that. So if you're not willing to do that, then it's fair. But if you are interested and just want to see that it's possible, then uh, check this out. Because you can see right here, I already have the shield rima armor on. But let me just show you here, in terms of main quest, you can see I have not even completed the Warchief's Trial or a Seeker at the gates yet. Yet I have the shield reaver armor. I've only completed the quest, uh, the six main quest that takes place inside the Embrace, and I have the armor. So I want to show you guys, you know, how that's possible. So what you want to do, of course, if you want to do it yourself, is uh, start a new game playthrough. So you know, go out there and do that. And then I'll show you step by step how to get each of the power cells with a few exploits. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys after you've uh, started your new playthrough and gotten through the childhood section. Enjoy the video, guys. All right, so you've started your playthrough here and you have gotten through the childhood section and you have talked to Rust here at the very beginning, which then gives you access to Rome the Embrace. Now in the Embrace, we'll find our first power cell, which is gonna be inside the ruins down here, inside the Embrace. This power cell you can get whenever you want, but we might as well get it out of the way now since the goal of this is to get the Shield Reaver as quick as possible. So let's head over to the ruins. So over here by the ruins, the power cell is obviously inside, so I'm just quickly going to show where it is. You want to drop down this hole on the right side here, so you land on the top step and not fall through the floor. You can still get it if you fall all the way down, I just feel like it's easier when you land on the right That's side the there, so you stay on top. I haven't been here in years. Then you certainly want to run through this room, go to the left here, and then there's the stairs down. Get down the stairs. And you want to go through this door, which you can now, because you have a spear. Compared to when you were in the childhood section. Then continue straight through the room and up the stairs there. And then on the right hand side here, when you come through the door, there's this thing you just need to break. And then the power cell is right here on the table. So that is the first power cell done. The next power cell we'll get is right after the Proving. So what you want to do now is play through the main story until you have beaten the Proving. Once you're at the end of the Proving here, where you finish it by going ahead and looting the leader here, you can skip the two cutscenes here. Or watch them if you want. This cutscene can't be skipped immediately, so you have to wait a sec. Then you will be inside Old Mother Mountain here where the next power cell is. So what you want to do here is walk forward and to the right. There's going to be another cutscene in this room. Skip through that. And then open the two doors straight ahead. And normally you have to go left here to pick up all your stuff, but the power cell is in the room on the right here. So simply go in here and go through the vent. And then in the back room here, when you get to the end of it, is the power cell right here on the ground. Now you can get the, this power cell later in the game, but I recommend picking it up now if you want the Shield Reaver as early as possible. Now what you want to do from here, now that you have the two power cells inside the Embrace, the last three is outside the Embrace, so finish off this quest called the Womb of the Mountain, so you get access to the rest of the world map. Alright, so now that you have left the Embrace and gotten access to the world map after getting a mount here, the first place we are going to go is to the Grave Horde. Now the Grave Horde has the next power cell, which is located all the way up here to the north, right next to the entrance to the Frozen Wilds. So you want to head all the way up there, and then when you get there we'll talk about how you get inside the Grave Horde early. 
So now that you've reached the entrance here to Greyford, you can see that it's kind of blocked by these big icicles, as you're not supposed to enter or get in before the quest is active for Greyford. So the way you want to get in is you want to head on top of these icicles, because uh, that's the way, or up here there's a way to get into it early. You see there's these icicles on top, and over here in the corner here, there's this uh, big gap here that Aloy can actually squeeze through when she does a certain animation. But in order to get that, you have to um, stand over here on the flat ground, and then you want to walk forward at full speed towards the hole over here, and then as soon as you go above the hole, you want to let go of your analog stick or W key, depending on if you're playing with controller or uh, keyboard. So you want to walk forward here at full speed, so hold the control uh, analog on the controller all the way forward. And if you're on mouse and keyboard, just hold W down. You don't want to sprint, just walking speed. So walk towards it, and then when you go above the hole, you want to let go. Now, this trick is not 100% consistent. I haven't personally found a way to make it consistent. Uh, maybe you can find a way to make it a bit more consistent. But um, you can see it's probably going to take you a couple of tries to get it. So you simply just continue to walk forward and then let go once you're above the hole. Sometimes it can take a little while to get. Sometimes you, I have gotten it on first try and other times it has taken me upwards of five minutes to get it. Well, just keep trying until you get it here. Just simply walk forward and then let go once you're above the hole. I'm sure there's a bit of timing to when exactly you want to let go in order to get through. Which uh, is probably pretty hard to hit and why it's not consistent. But uh, as long as you keep attempting it. Also make sure you're right above the hole when you get there. You can see there is some rocks here that can push you from side to side a little bit when you walk across them. So you just want to try and line it up as best as you can. So you get there and there we go. You see right there I fell through. It might take you a lot longer to get it, because uh, like I said, it's not consistent, but just keep trying at it and make sure you walk in a straight line uh, and go straight over the hole and then let go of um, whatever you're holding down to um, move forward when you get above the hole. And remember, only walking speed. As far as I'm aware, sprinting does not work, because Aloy won't have the specific animation required to squeeze through the hole. Now, once you're inside Gravehorde here, there's some things you can do, but obviously we are just here for the power cell. Um, so you want to hit down the zip line here. And then go through the a gap right here, then to the left, and then hit down the second zip line here. Now a cool thing when you're inside these places early, is that all the doors that are normally locked are actually unlocked now. So you might remember when you played that this quest, that this uh, door is normally locked, uh, sorry. This door is normally locked, and you have to go in there to um, do some puzzles in order to unlock it. But since you're in here early, all the doors are already unlocked, and right there on the ground is the power cell. Now, an important thing with the power cell in Gravehorde is that it can spawn in three locations. This is the first place it spawns, and it will always spawn here. But if you don't pick it up here and continue ahead, it will spawn in the ravine further ahead. And if you ignore that spot, it will then spawn in its last location in the room where you and Silence talk about the earth not being flat. But of course, we just want to get the power armor early. So let's pick up the power cell right here. Power and uh, then we can move on. One thing I do want to say now that you're inside Graveord, feel free to do some exploring now that you're in here early. is isn't a whole lot to do, but you can just kind of see all the places here without any soldiers around. Uh, one important thing though, uh, if you do go exploring here at Gravehorde, if you go too far into Gravehorde, you can't fast travel out of there. Uh, for example, if you go into the arena where you normally fight the Deathbringer, uh, if you go in there, the game won't allow you to fast travel out of here. So you would have to reload a save file and then get the power cell again if you do so. So keep that in mind. But uh, since we picked up the power cell in this location right here, we are allowed to fast travel out of here and leave. I'll recommend you go back to a campfire close to uh, Mother's Crown right here. Uh, because the next place we are going to go is of course the last two power cells, which are up here at Gaia Prime. And the last one over here at Mager's End. Now you might notice that those two power cells are in the Cardia territory, and you would normally have to complete the Seeker at the gates, where you clear the two corrupted zones, and go to Day Tower in order to cross into the Cardia territory. 
But there's a way to cross the border without completing that quest, which you can do up here by the northern gate. So we're gonna hit that hit there, and I'll show you how you cross into the Kaja territory without completing the quest uh, uh, that you normally had to do at Day Tower. So uh, fast roll back here, or ride all the way if you want to. Uh, you have to fast roll to get out of Grey Horde. To my knowledge, there's no way of getting out without fast rolling. So uh, fast roll out of here and then hit over here to the northern gate into the Kaja territory. Once you reach Dawn Sentinel, or the northern Kaja border gate as I prefer to call it, then you'll notice that the gate is obviously closed, because again you haven't completed a secret at the gates, which gives you access to the Kaja land. But there's a way to cross the border, like I said, without uh, completing it. So you can get the shield armor as early as possible. So what you want to do is head back here and then you want to get on top of the cliff that is on the right or left side, whatever you want to call it. I guess southern side of the gate. So simply climb up here and then we can uh, jump around in order to um, get into the Kaja territory early. Because right here normally there's an invisible wall, you can see I'm kind of jumping against it here. But it turns out this invisible wall is not sticking out that far, so if you just jump around it like this, then you have made passage into the Kaja territory. Then just make sure you get down safely without losing too much health or dying. And voila! Now you're inside the Kaja territory without having completed um, the quest required to unlock it. Of course, you could just complete the quest if you wanted to, if you feel like that's easier. But crossing into the Kaja territory like this is super easy, as you just saw. All you had to do is jump around that little invisible wall, and you're in here. Now, feel free to do some exploring in the Kaja territory, now that you are in here before you should be. But, in terms of getting the next power cell, we are gonna head up here to the uh, Gaia Prime. And make sure you go all the way up to the entrance of Gaia Prime. And then I'll talk to you when you get there. So now that you've reached the entrance here of Gaia Prime, all you want to do is head up the normal climbing path here. And then at the very end of the climbing path, you'll notice that the ladder is missing. The ladder only spawns here when the quest is active. But we have a way to get around it without using the ladder, as you will see here. So just continue up the path the normal way. And then there's a specific thing you have to do when you get up here in order to scale the wall without the ladder. Then go around here, and right here you can see, yeah, there's no ladder. Ladder is only here when the quest is active. So what you want to do in order to scale this wall uh, without the ladder, is you want to be on this platform right here. Uh, you want to stand on that. Do be careful here, because as you can see, it is the very edge of it. So if you go too far on the right hand side here, you will fall off and die. And most likely your last checkpoint is pretty far away from here. So uh, be careful. Then what you want to do next is make sure you're crouched. And you want to be crouched the entire way, all the way until you're at the top. Then you want to point your camera down or up, comparing, depending on what you call it. But make sure the camera is pointed upwards, so you can't see Aloy at all. And then what you want to do here is jump up the slightly right-hand side of this uh, cliff path. So all these things, keep them in mind when you do it. Stand on this very edge, be crouched the entire way, and point the camera upwards, and keep the camera pointing upwards um, <clears throat> for the entire duration of this. And then simply what you want to do now is jump up the right, slightly on the right-hand side here. It might take you a few attempts to get this down, and a little bit of practice, but if you do it correctly, you can make it look as simple as that. It is a little bit tricky when you first try it, so like I said, make sure you practice a bit, and it might take you a few attempts. Don't get discouraged, you should be able to get it as long as you remember the things, like I said. That you are crouched on the very edge, and that you point the camera all the way down, and then jump up the slightly right hand side. So remember all those things and you should eventually be able to get it down. Now once you're up here, or you will once again notice that when you're inside Gaia Prime early, just like Graveheart, the door is unlocked. So you can simply head through. Then of course head down the elevator shaft here, because that's uh, when you get to the main area of Gaia Prime. Down the hallway and then on the right. Then you're inside the main area here. Then the power cell is going to be on the left hand side here. So simply Roll down here, make sure you don't fall all the way down or die. So do be careful. 
And then you want to jump in here, and then in the back room right here is where the uh, power cell is located. Right here on the shelf. Now, right here, I have already picked it up, because uh, it took me a few attempts to record this, but it will be on the shelf right here, I promise you that. So, I already picked it up, but um, it will be right here for you. Now, feel free to explore once again Gaia Prime while you're inside here early. Maybe you find some cool stuff, that would be awesome. But now, there's only one power cell left, so what you want to do is, of course, fast travel out of here, and then hit all the way over here to the north uh, west part of the map and uh, where Magor's End is located and then I'll talk to you when you get there. Alright, so we have reached the last power cell here at Magor's End and I'm starting outside Magor's End because it's important to show exactly the route you need to take in and you want to have a mount here because uh, the mount is actually the key to this trick in order to get inside the tower early. Because as you know the power cell is at the very top of the, ma uh, of the Pharaoh Tower and in order to access that, you have to have the quest active. But with the mount, there's some unique abilities you can do. So simply head through this path here that you see me taking. There are some enemies here, but they shouldn't give you trouble. If they do, just kill them. And then when you get to, uh, you can see there's that pile of rubble right in towards the center of the screen. You want to ride your mount up that rubble on kind of the kind of at an angle. You'll see me do it here. It's pretty easy, so you should be able to do it. And like I said, if enemies give you trouble here, you can easily kill them and then try the trick without them being here. So you simply want to ride up. It's going to feel kind of like the mount doesn't want to, but he will eventually get up here. Then simply get down here, and then you want to ride to the back here, and then up this path. Because that's uh, the tower that is right in front of us here. Be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. And then a the thing I'm quickly going to show you here is... Um, Right here is the entrance to the tower. I'm gonna leave my mount here. Make sure you have a mount here, otherwise it will not work. <clears throat> is uh, You can see these branches on the path here. And you can see the inside of the tower is just on the other side of these branches. Now, Aloy can't go through here on her own. But a unique ability in this game that you might have seen in speedruns in a few places is that when a mount is inside a location that it's not supposed to be, it can ignore hitboxes or go through walls, basically. So since the mount is now inside an area it's not supposed to, you can climb up here with the mount, and the mount will simply walk through. And now you're inside the tower. It is that easy. You just gotta make sure you have a mount here. And then all there's left is simply climb up to the top of the tower and grab yourself that power cell. I'm of course gonna show you the path here. So simply head up here. I prefer taking the right side of the elevator because it's faster, and as you know, I like to speed run, so I go in the right uh, to the right here in the first elevator path. And simply head up here. You can cut this corner if you want to by going through that little gap there. Then climb up the side of the wall. Climb up here. Then another wall gap here, or wall to climb here. Then head down here, turn around, and then there's another shaft here to go through. And then in the second elevator shaft here, the faster way is the fastest way to get up, if you care about that, is to uh, stay on or to stay in the elevator and not go to the right here. And then simply climb all the way up. And once again, of course, feel free to explore inside Maker's End while you're here early, if you feel like it. And of course, if you find something cool inside these places early, let me know in the comments below. I would like to hear what you think, or uh, like to hear what you uh, found if you discover something cool. Now we have made it to the office, and then all that's left is climb up the path here, in the back side of the office, that is going to lead all the way up to the power cell. Which now means we have all five, and that means that the last thing that's left to do is simply head back to where the armor is located, and then grab ourselves the sweet, sweet armor. And you have then have achieved the armor as early as currently possible, with the knowledge we have. In terms of what is possible with glitches. Or glitches. I don't know if you want to call most of this glitches, some of it could be called exploits. 
But now that you have the power cell here on top, all there is to you is head all the way back here to, uh, sorry, there's the right quest, to Ancient Armory, which is all the way back here towards the beginning. So just fast roll back to this campfire and then we'll head in and grab ourselves an armor. Alright, so now that you have all the power cells, all there's left to do is head back here to where the ruins with the power armor is, which is very close to the embrace here, as you can see. Then simply you want to head down into this hole and um, you can go over here and jump safely down or if you want to show off a little bit you can head over here on the right and take the jump from a lot further up. I don't know why I needed to show that but you guys know me I like to show off a little bit. <clears throat> then all there's left to do is head in here and plug in the power cells. One thing I can say about it is uh, the passwords here are always the same so if you already know the password you don't need to scan the clue in order to get it and as i'm plugging in these power cells and using the codes of course you can always pause the video if you don't remember what the codes are i'll have to find power cells to get these to work but what i want to say here is currently this is the earliest you can get the shield reaver armor now the thing that's currently preventing you from getting the shield reaver armor even earlier is that we don't have a way to get inside the Magus End Tower without the mount, like I showed in the video. There are ways to get all the other power cells earlier, but we are missing that one thing that allows us to get the power cell at Magus End without, <clears throat> without the use of a mount. So if one of you guys find a way to get inside the Magus End Tower without a mount, feel free to share it. And then I can probably make an updated video showing you that you can get it even faster. But for now, this is the earliest you can get it, which is right after you leave the embrace. Because that's when you get your mount. And now that you have plugged in all the power cells, all there's left to do is go up here and grab it. And then inside your inventory there will be a box here where the shield reaver is. And then simply head to the outfits and equip it. And there you go, you now have the shield reaver armor. Which um, could be a great help to you if you're on your an early playthrough and, you know, just want a little help. Or maybe you just found this uh, thing interesting to see how early you can actually get it when you're willing to, you know, use a few exploits in the game. And just again here to show, you can see, as for main quest, I've only completed the main quest inside the Embrace. All the other quests outside the Embrace, none of them have been completed yet, yet I still have the armor. So I appreciate you all watching this video, I hope you find it interesting, and as always, a like and a comment on the video helps me out a lot. And hey, consider stopping by my stream sometimes, there's a link to it in the description below, where I do speedruns and challenge runs of Horizon Zero Dawn. There's been a lot of new people joining there lately, so that means a lot to me, and I would like to see you guys there as well. So without anything else really left to say, I hope you guys have a great day, so take care everyone.